Hello everybody, in this screencast we want to see how we can install Pandoc on a Windows machine and uh, additionally we need LaTeX as well so we just google Pandoc install Windows then we see here Pandoc installing Windows, that's what we need we have here the download page and uh, as they say we should also install MicTag so that we can export um, Markdown to LaTeX PDFs as well. So let's first install MicTag. We have here the download folder and just follow the recommended download. And now it's uh, quite large, so it takes some time. As soon as the download is finished, we can click the executable and the yes, we want to use it. And uh, now we have to accept the copying conditions and uh, it should be usable for everybody on this computer. We just take the default path and that's OK and start. Now the installation is finished, so we click on proceed and it's successfully completed. So let's close this window. Now the next step is to download Pandoc. So here we have Pandoc, the latest release, and we need to scroll down to the bottom where we can find the download link. Here we are, Windows. Next we can find our file here in the download folder. So double click to install. We accept the license agreement. Install and it is finished. So now we have Pandoc installed. Next, let's see whether Pandoc is working. So therefore we press the Windows button together with X to come up with this menu here. And uh, we start the command prompt. Okay, and if we type Pandoc, then it doesn't work yet. So we need to um, switch to the file or to the directory where we have installed Pandoc. So in my case, it is this. And here, if we type pandoc help, then you can see that it works. Of course, we want to work pandoc uh, not only in this directory. So let's Google for Windows add path, uh, add command to path. And uh, let's see what they tell us. So we could um, add something to the path variable with this command. So let's just try that. So we set our path equal to the old value of our path. And then we add the directory that we are interested in, which is users Christian App data local pandoc. There we go. Let's switch the directory to see whether it works. And now it knows of the command. So now let's try a little example. So pandoc example and uh, we make beamer. We want to check whether it is already possible to create beamer slides so what we want to start here from is take the beamer slides here so this is the source file and uh, let's see whether it works to translate this into beamer slides so we copy this and create a new file so just go in documents and here new and new text document and it is called slides.nd we open it we copy our content into it save and now we should be able to call it with pandoc. So let's go to the correct directory.
And uh, here we can see, oh, okay, I made a mistake. So the slides file should end with MD, but it is uh, saved as a TXT file. So um, we need to account for that. So pandoc, and let's now look what the syntax. So here we see the syntax. So it's pandoc to beamer from markdown. And the file is slides MD and it should be saved as example PDF. So let's execute. And there it says there are some packages missing and we want to install them. And again, some package that we need to install. And another one, and another one. So I'm gonna just add these, all these packages. And uh, the problem is that probably the MIGTAG version that we did install was rather not comprehensive. So there are a lot of packages that we additionally need to install, as you can see. But this should, of course, only happen once. Um, and afterwards it should work. So let's see. Here we now have a PDF file, which doesn't open with Adobe here, but it doesn't matter. Okay, maybe it does matter. Well, uh, I don't have Adobe Reader installed yet, so I just open it with this reader here. And as we can see, we have the slideshow as expected. So it works perfect. So that's it.